Hello, I'm Diana Belchase here with Booksmart. Today I am so happy to have with me as my guest, Glenn Paris. Glenn is a physician who has written a medical thriller that is exciting and different than anything I've read before. Glenn, welcome to Booksmart. Thank you so much for having me, Diana. Tell our, our viewers what the book is about and what it's called. Well, the book is called The Renaissance of Aspirin, and it's a medical thriller. And it features Dr. Jack Wheaton, a young doctor who has been charged with uh, training a young intern. The problem is this mystery doc is not who she's supposed to be. Well, give us a little bit more detail than that. All right. Tell them, who is she supposed to be? Well, as it turns out, this is actually a brilliant researcher who's come up with a cure for fibromyalgia syndrome. And this would be a billion dollar uh, uh, formula if it ever got to the FDA. She found a flaw in the original formula, mm -hmm. corrected it, and found something better. Mm -hmm. All right. They wanted it for themselves, so an assassination attempt ensues, and they miss. She goes on the run and hides in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, I need to know why fibromyalgia. Of all the diseases out there, why this particular disease? Well, fibromyalgia has been the great white whale for me for the past 30 years. I am so much better as a rheumatologist treating rheumatoid arthritis and lupus and gout and vasculitis and all these horrible diseases. But fibromyalgia, I don't think I'm any better at treating now than I was some 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's not a killer disease, but it's a very painful disease. It doesn't take life away, but it makes life miserable. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, as someone who suffers from fibromyalgia, I know this to be very, very true. Mm -hmm. And it really is one of the reasons why I'm so glad to see your book coming out, um, because it brings attention to something. And um, frankly, a lot of crackpot cures that are out there that yeah. just plain don't work. Yeah. Well, that, that speaks to the frustration of both the medical community and the patient community of mm -hmm. fibromyalgia, just reaching for anything, and the frustration of doctors not having any, any really good tools to work with. Mm -hmm. So there's an anthropological sort of cure that comes out in your book. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the, the title of the book is metaphorical. Um, some 30 years ago, we thought that plain old aspirin was dead. We had ibuprofen, we had naproxen, we had many other anti-inflammatory medicines. They were longer acting, they were milder on the stomach, they mm -hmm. may have been better at, at relieving pain. Um, but uh, we discovered that plain aspirin is a very good blood thinner, and it became a lifesaver for heart attacks and strokes, and that was the rebirth of the renaissance of aspirin. Mm -hmm. the, in the story, the MacGuffin, if you will, uh, is um, when uh, man uh, entered the Ice Age, people had to hibernate. Mm -hmm. So half of them had to hibernate, and half of them went out hunting. And this usually happened during the winters. Well, some uh, tens of thousands of years later, we didn't have to hunt anymore. We invented agriculture. Mm -hmm. So this gene became recessive. Nature doesn't have an eraser. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the secret to fibro is hibernation. You had to hibernate. So that's the uh, anthropological MacGuffin mm -hmm. in the story. And this is purely fiction. Well, I wish that perhaps it wasn't completely fiction because then we could actually figure out what's going on and find a cure for this. Yeah. But it's a really interesting take on this and it was a really beautifully written book. So I really appreciate having you here. Tell me what is next. Well, Jack Wheaton uh, solves a lot of problems in this book, but you know, as most heroes, he doesn't always get his way. But mm -hmm. he becomes quite a sleuth. And in the next book, uh, one of the other characters, Candy Barr, take center stage and uh, she's famous for getting into trouble so he's got to get her out and uh, the next the next one's a real doozy when it comes to to trouble so we'll, well see. I'm looking forward to reading it thank you so much for being here on well, Book thank Smart you TV very TV. very much well, I really enjoyed it I'm Diana Belchase here with Dr. Glenn Paris keep reading <laughs>